hello everyone holiday is over uh you know <laughs> it's time to go back to work and this video is a quick update of what i've done in the past few weeks during this holiday so the first thing i took care of was the placing system uh i mean i have many items that have to be placed before you can actually use like the beacon the storage the wind turbine solar panels and so on so as usual i created a blue preview and wherever i go it moves where i'm pointing to this is done simply by raycasting the terrain and updating the object position and rotation to the hit point. You can also rotate it clockwise by pressing R or Shift R for counterclockwise. The color of the preview changes into red when you're trying to place it in a wrong place. That way you can only place when it's blue. I'm also gonna add sound effects and particle system and animations and stuff, but this is a boring part, uh, so I'm not gonna bore you with this stuff. Maybe it's gonna be a disco thing, um, I don't know, you tell me. Oh, watch this, I come across a bunch of storages and they kind of know who's the leader. Isn't that amazing? Of course it's not me, that would be weird. I, I'm pretty sure you can guess who's the leader. Come on, think about it, pause the video and think who can be the leader. Yeah, you guessed it, uh, or <laughs> you didn't. Either way, I'm pretty sure they're busy, so yeah, let's leave them alone. Uh, the second thing I took care of uh, during this holiday was terrain trunks. I don't know if you noticed it, but my islands are pretty boring and useless and, you know, not really far from what I am. I tried many different techniques and the one that worked for me is this one. Basically, I used the clay brush, which was really useful. Um, okay, wait, this is not meant to be a tutorial because <laughs> I'm not really the best person to to teach you this stuff, but I hope you can figure out how I did. I'm pretty sure there is a better and cleaner way to do this. So yeah, take things for what they are. Um, okay, at the end of the sculpting, I ended up with a ridiculous amount of vertices, uh, like always. So what I had to do is to use a decimate modifier. I tried different settings and I came up with a decent one that gives me enough details, but you know, it's still low poly. Importing in Unity, they look like this. I put on them a gray rocky material, which is a good placeholder for now. So the goal is to dynamically build islands by combining these terrain trunks. I can place them in levels to create mountains. And you know, this is going to be done dynamically, of course, in order to have each island different and also involving different terrain trunks. Okay, what you've seen until now was about the first type of island. For the desert one, I decided to have more rocky ones. And yeah, again, Back to Blender, and for this I created many different rocks with different shapes and sizes, you know, to combine later on. Um, then I created a sort of a cliff to place them, and this is the result in Unity. It takes a little bit more effort than the previous one, but, you know, for me it looks better. Okay, important announcement, let's be real, the scope of this game is big, it's probably not for a solo developer, so what I'm gonna do in a short time is to take care of every aspect that can lead me to have a trailer of this game, and finally a Steam page. Things like, um, things like complete at least three types of islands, sound effects, the airship thing, and of course have a playable build. So right now the priority is on this stuff, so yeah, if you want to stay up to date, subscribe, join the Discord server, do whatever you want, you know, it's free. And beside that, have fun, and I see you guys next time.